Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a what's on my iPhone video. I haven't done one in a while. And I like to do one uh, when the seasons change. Um, it is currently fall and I have updated my phone, the background and kind of the layout a little bit since the last time um, I did one of these videos and I also did it for fall as well. And I wanted to show you guys how I did it uh, or what it looks like anyway. Um, so let's get into the video. Um, so flip down and I'm pretty sure that my screensaver is probably the same as the last time, but this is, um, uh, this is my screensaver of when Kenny and I got married. This is on our wedding day. Um, and I haven't changed it since I, yeah, so I think pretty much the last video I was on my iPhone video was this one. Um, and then if you swipe up, um, this is the home screen, um, when you swipe up at the bottom. Um, and at the bottom, from left to right, I've got, like, my calls. You can access all the contacts and stuff on there. Safari, and then my messages there. We won't share the messages. Um, and then if you look from the upper left corner, um, uh, uh, or actually, yeah, upper left corner, yes, I know that I have barely any battery. This is, like, my, um, my toxic trait is not charging my phone. My husband gets on to me all the time about it, and... Anyway, so from the upper left corner, I've got this widget. Um, this is just like Halloween background. I'll change it once like the October is over. I'll put it, put something like a little bit more fall related. Um, oh, and before I get into it, the background, this is just something I found off of Pinterest. If you want me to send you this, um, I don't have a direct link for Pinterest because I just like got it and I forgot to save it, save like the link, but add me on Instagram and send me a d direct message and I will send it to you or let me know in the comments and or whatever do whatever you want <laughs> just inbox me <laughs> um and i'll send you like all the backgrounds that i used um yeah so anyway so i've got the social media i have everything organized nicely um in folders this is just like how my brain works and i can function this way um i've got instagram follow me on instagram like courtney ayana underscore guys um, um, YouTube, Twitter, I don't really use Twitter that much. Pinterest, my guilty pleasure. YouTube Studio, you guys know I've said it a thousand times. It's just like an app for creators like to track their analytics and stuff. Snap, I don't use Snap like anymore like as much as I used to. The only thing I use for Snap is Amanda and I, my best friend Amanda and I, we have a Snap streak going for like years and that's the only reason why well, we still have Snapchat, like literally the only reason. TikTok. Um, obviously I use TikTok, um, and Facebook and, and Messenger. I don't really use Facebook as much anymore. I literally can't tell you the last time I posted on Facebook, but I will use it, um, just to be nosy, to follow people. A lot of my high school friends are getting pregnant, getting married, so it's nice, like, to see what they're doing in life, but I do not post on Facebook anymore. And then Messenger, I'll use Messenger if I sell something on Facebook and... Like I need to obviously get in contact with the person, so I I don't really use um, that either. Uh, photography um, folder, I've got everything that I do um, photography related. Obviously photos, that's already built into already built into um, the phone, like where all my photos are stored. Visco, I don't really use Visco anymore. Facetune, I'll use to touch up any blemishes I may have in my photos. And then Lightroom, I use um, on my desktop along with. Um, my phone as well so it's all synced together which is nice for my photography business that i have and then um Cordia Yana photography if you guys want to hit me up and then um scroll i use for instagram sometimes and then canva that's where i edit my thumbnails now because pick monkey started you have to pay for it so no one really uses pick monkey anymore uh, well i don't anyway uh productivity notes notes is my life i have to have notes it is so important so important um everything is tracked on my notes on my to-do lists um goals my finances and stuff is is on notes just like financial goals that i have i'll, I'll keep it on notes um amazon you know target reminders i don't really use because i have notes um and if i need to remind myself on something i'll just put it on my calendar and my calendar will give me a reminder maps and then shop kicks I don't really use Shopkicks as much. Um, I'll use it if I go into like a store or something and I, and I remember. Um, but actually, I think I, um, yeah, I've got 5,716, so I'm almost to a $25 gift card. Um, anyway, finances, I won't get too much into that, but that's just where my bank app and Venmo, Cash App and all that stuff is in. 
food. Moe's, Kenny and I will order Moe's once in a while. Chick-fil-A, another guilty pleasure, oh my God. Um, Uber Eats and DoorDash don't really use as much anymore because it's so expensive now, it's ridiculous. So I don't really use it unless I'm in a bind. Um, and then Instacart, I am one of those people who doesn't really like to shop in the store anymore. So I'll Instacart most of the time for our groceries. Um, it's not that much more expensive. I think it's like $5 delivery and then you tip your driver, of course. Um, well, if you decide to. I wouldn't say, of course, you don't have to tip the driver. Um, but yeah, it's not that much more than to go in the, to the store. So travel, it's a pretty big, uh, a tr pretty big folder for me because you guys know we love to travel. And um, I've got Airbnb I use. Um, if my family and I are going to stay somewhere, we all like split it. Expedia, I book most of my flights through Expedia. Um, and then you rack up points and then right now I have like a hundred dollars worth of points um, Because we went on our trip this summer and we racked up a bunch Omeo um, That is an app where I use uh, That in rail Europe that you'll see down here um, We use actually to buy all of our train tickets um, When we were in Europe and that came in handy um, Verbo is just like Airbnb and then um, Google Translate came in in the clutch when I was overseas because it is it since I was in high school Google Translate kind of just started to come out or it was like popular it has come a long way since I was in high school and it, it was awesome uber also very handy in America uber is so expensive um, but overseas like in um, like the Caribbean or like in like Latin American countries and also in Europe it's like way cheaper than it is here so that was nice. Wonder log, that's just kind of how me and my mom, or my mom and I kept track of um, like all of our trip stuff. And then welcome, this is, you can book car services through this app for welcome, and then Rail Europe is the same as Omeo. And if you swipe again, TriCal is really nice when you go on like a girls trip or just any family vacation or whatever, and you're all like splitting money. Um, you can keep track of it through, keep track of it through TriCal, and it'll tell you exactly how much you owe each other, who owes who what, and it's, it's really cool. You don't have to think for yourself. Um, Carnival, we're going on a cruise um, coming up, so I have the Carnival app. And then WhatsApp is nice um, to like um, if you have like like I have a friend that lives um, in Barcelona, so we text each other through WhatsApp or Facebook because obviously she has an international number, or you can call. I also used WhatsApp um, during our family trip. We WhatsApped each other once in a while um, because some, at some point. Uh, some people in my family didn't have a phone plan overseas while we were in Europe, so until they got their phone plan, um, they used WhatsApp whenever they had Wi-Fi. Um, and then Kenny actually used WhatsApp instead of getting a phone service when he was deployed to Iraq a few a few years ago. So WhatsApp is pretty cool. Um, my music, I don't really use this anymore, but I've got Apple Music and YouTube Music. I used to use a lot. Google Home and Google Assistant, I don't really use that. I don't really need it. I can just tell my Google what to do from from here or wherever. But I mean, when I, when I first got my Google Home, I used it all the time, so. Okay, I've got entertainment, use every single last one of these. Netflix, Disney Plus, this is the Fire Stick TV because at one point we didn't have a remote because Kenny accidentally threw it away. Um, so I just downloaded the app and used it um, there. Um, so we don't really use Fire Stick TV as much for the app wise because we got a new one um, and then Hulu obviously used that and then this widget Smith you guys know I'm obsessed with Anne with an E Anne of Green Gables and I love her quotes and this is one quote um, I've had this on my phone for a while it's not what the world holds for you it's what you bring to it and it's one of my favorite quotes from Anne and Shirley Cuthbert um, and then you come down to lifestyle I've got Nike run for when I was trying to get back in shape um, Groupon, don't really use as much anymore, but I still have it. I don't know why I still have it actually. Period Tracker, pretty self-explanatory. Etsy, since I'm not like in my wedding season anymore, I haven't used Etsy or The Knot. Um, I see I still have The Knot on here as much, but I keep it just in my back pocket. Once in a while, I like scroll through it, scroll through Etsy, but I use Etsy a ton um, when I was ordering things um, while I was getting married. So that was cool. And then I've got random apps in here. What do I have? I've got iTunes, App Store, Candy Crush. Kenny got me back on Candy Crush like the last week or so. We got really bored one weekend and we've been like playing Candy Crush. Um, Prime Video, I'll watch like 
I don't know, some videos, whatever. And then Farmville, during the during quarantine, I downloaded it. I just never took it off my phone. I don't really play it as much anymore, but right now, Kenny and I are we're into Candy Crush right now. It's an oldie. Um, work app, this is just stuff for work. I won't go too much into this, but I've got um, my Google Calendar. I can keep my tasks, just things that I need to do for work. I'll keep that on there. Group Me, I use that for military purposes. Uh, mile IQ to check my mileage when I'm going to and from drill just so I can write that off on my taxes keep your receipts and keep track of your mileage soldiers because you will get that money back at the end of the year um, and then Gmail obviously Gmail um, and then I've got extras this is just like miscellaneous things to calculator I don't really use it um, the only thing I use is ring if someone rings my doorbell and usually I'll just get like an, a notification anyways but if I want to just for some reason check I just go to that and click ring um next is widgets it's a widget I like imagining better than remembering this is from obviously Aunt Shirley Cuthbert um, and then I've got podcasts Google Maps I use Google Maps um, over maps I just prefer it um zillow don't really use obviously because we're not house buying right now um, like we were previously and then i've got this widget smith this is of kenny and i towards the end of our wedding when we're leaving the reception and then i've got this one this is perfect i didn't even realize i chose this and it's october this quote from Anne shirley cuthbert and it's i'm so glad i live in a world where it's where there are octobers i'm like oh my god i didn't realize i did that and it's october so that's cool um i've got the weather app um clock this is where all my um, alarms and stuff. This is all from college. I just never, uh, like four or five years later, I just never took it off. But got alarms there, FaceTime, and then in this folder, I've got like Zip, Afterpay, Affirm, and Klarna. Oh, these are all like if I, I don't know, for some reason I don't want to pay all all of something that I buy. I'll like get on a payment plan for like a month or whatever, and I'll use that. I actually haven't used this in a long time, but it's nice to have. Um, I I use a lot of it when. I uh, was getting married and I was ordering so much at a time. And I was like, I don't want to pay all of this at once. So I like would pay twice a month for like a couple months or whatever. Um, and then swipe again. I've got settings, um, pro productivity folder, nothing that special. Got Widget Smith. Um, keep my files in there. T Mobile Tuesday. Don't use that. I don't even know why I even have this actually. I'm going to delete this. <laughs> I literally don't use that. Um, Zoom used once in a while. Obviously, Zoom came pretty popular during um, COVID. Um, Family Link, I actually don't use. Well, let's get rid of apps. I do not use that. Actually, I don't want to delete them. I might just take it off. Um, shortcuts, I did use shortcuts um, at one point. It's just too much of a hassle. I don't use it as much anymore. Wear OS, I use for my watch, my Michael Kors watch. Kenny got me a long time ago that I'll wear once in a while. And then Docs, came out to Google Docs. All of my, everything is backed up to Google Docs along with Drive. Um, and then Duolingo, Duolingo, Translate, and HelloTalk. That's all for keeping up with like my French because you guys know, well, maybe you may not know, I do speak French. So I, I keep up with those just to keep my vocabulary and all that stuff together just my mind in French you know oh and I also have this cute uh, like clock and calendar and then swipe over again this is just all the apps that I have all together in the app library and that's pretty much it what was that Oh, Apple Store um so yeah nothing all that fancy so yeah that is my um, what's on my iPhone for the fall time I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.